Welcome. Today's lesson is on reading fertilizer labels. Before you even start thinking about putting any kind of fertilizer on or applying it uh, on a crop or your lawn or whatever it might be, take a soil test. Whether it be from a reputable lab or uh, you going out and taking the soil samples and using one of the, the kits. But please, take a soil sample first. After you've gotten your results from the soil test, that should tell you a little bit about what is in your soil and now what you're going to apply. Um, how you understand that as far as how much to apply and how to apply it is on the label. Other things like the manufacturer, the brand name, and then of course the all-important analysis. The analysis is always in this order. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. N, P, and K. It always happens in that order. The first number we're going to look at is 18%. That's 18% of nitrogen. The second number that we're going to see here is going to be phosphorus, 24% phosphorus, or P. And then on this next last one is going to be uh, potassium. Potassium in this case is 6% and it's designated by the letter K. Now if you add all of those up, it doesn't equal 100. So what else is in it? Well, things like inert material, um, filler, and maybe other things that will allow it, like for instance, to be um, pelletized so it can go in a particular piece of equipment or broadcast or shot through a little uh, hole if it's an air uh, type of fertilizer. So lots of different uh, ways in which to prepare the fertilizer so it will become more effective. That's what the rest of the, the bag is, is in. Um, so let's take a look at each one of the elements and see what they do. All right. The first letter on a fertilizer label is nitrogen. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it's used for, what nitrogen is used in the plant. And I remember this kind of like rhyme, up, down, and all around. N would be up, potassium would be down, and then K is all around. And what I mean by that, in nitrogen, it takes care of all the things up or above the, the soil surface. All the tissue growth that takes place, in particular the foliar growth, that's what nitrogen is responsible for. So nitrogen, nitrogen is responsible for all the uh, foliar growth, the vegetative growth. So tissue, green up, and foliar gro growth, that's what the up is about as far as nitrogen. Now down or beneath the surface is potassium. Potassium encourages root growth. And also, and this isn't the, the you know the down part, but uh, fruit and flower production. So it helps uh, with reproductive reproduction in the plant, as well as root development. So phosphorus is down. And then K, the all around uh, potassium K, um, helps support cellular integrity. Um, it, it also helps with water regulation within plant cells. And because of all of that, it helps it become more disease and in particular drought tolerant because of that water regulation component. Now let's just take a look at the standard type of label. Uh, if you see right in front of you, you can see it, it has of course the 101010, uh, the analysis part, a brand name, and also the guaranteed analysis, the percentage of everything that happens here. If you take a look also, it'll have a, what type of nitrogen, this one's ammonia nitrate, and it also will tell you where all of these particular uh, compounds are derived from. And then of course at the very bottom, is going to be our, our total weight. That sometimes helps you with the actual application of it. And then the other uh, part that's that's really important is of course the, um, the, the, the micro elements, the trace elements in it. Like for instance, if we come down here, we can see of course the uh, N and the P and the K, it's, it's 4, 7, 10. And then if you look at calcium, 
Um, that's uh, a micro element. That's th at three percent. And then if we look at boron, it's at 0 0.02. And these are all the trace elements like boron, cobalt, uh, copper, iron, magnesium, those kind of things. They're all in smaller amounts, and they're used in smaller amounts. Now that you have all the information, now you can start applying the fertilizer exactly the way it's intended. Alrighty, I hope that has helped you, and we'll see you in the lab. Thank you very much. Bye.